Now that Vince McMahon's retired, Mick Foley will never have his request come true. Look, here's what Mick Foley had requested about when he dies. Wow, that's fun. So uh, this must be from that Foley is pod awesome show that's out now. And luckily, there's no Conrad Thompson on camera. That makes it the best Conrad podcast. Mick Foley said, I believe I'm going to be cremated when the time comes. We'll see if Vince would let my family drop the ashes in the ring. I don't even, I don't think drop is the word there. Scatter? We're going to scatter big, fat, 400-pound Mick Foley in every corner? Then again, hey, we let Owen Hart bleed out and left the blood there. What's a little ash? We'll see if Vince would let my family drop the ashes in the ring before the main event of WrestleMania. Wouldn't that be great? I don't know, Tyler. It sounds like a health code violation. Uh, well, he's kind of uh, fetching way too far here. I mean, what the fuck before the main event, Mick? I mean, maybe the pre-show, but you're not fucking ever going to have your ashes spread before the main event of Mania. Come on. Maybe he does mean drop like Owen Hart. Are we just going to drop the urn from the ceiling? Let it explode? Front row's going to have to have, like, raincoats on? Like someone's breaking watermelons? We're going to get Mick Foley in our eyes, Tyler. It'll be awesome. I'll be sticking my tongue out, uh, getting ready to catch him like a uh, snowfall. This Mick Foley podcast is so shitty, by the way. Watch Malachi that. Black has grit and says, Mick, we have already seen you spit your fake teeth out on the ring. That's enough. I've watched every episode, so I know how bad this show is. Watch this. This is the start of the latest one. Look at how insulting this is. They think you're a retard. Watch this. Hey, it's Conrad Thompson, and you're listening to Foley is Pod. And, of course, we couldn't do it without the hardcore legend, the Hall of Famer himself, Mr. Mick Foley. Mick, how are you, man? I'm doing great, especially now that I see you have Fresca in your refrigerator. <laughs> Fresca. Look at this. They want you to think this isn't paid right here, that this is spontaneous. Mick Foley came over Conrad's house, even though it's a green screen studio uh, off location, remote recording. He came over Conrad's house. Raided the fridge, even checked the garage and found a fresca and couldn't believe it was there. Look at this. They think you're a fucking retard. How are you, man? I'm doing great, especially now that I see you have fresca in your refrigerator. <laughs> oh, it's so refreshing. I didn't know you were a fresca guy. Oh, I'll have time. that on hand every time for you now. And whenever I watch uh, Caddyshack. So refreshing. Fresca sucks, and it's for faggots. And Conrad Thompson doesn't have any zero-calorie soda in his refrigerator. Who talks like that, by the way? So refreshing. Takes a sip like he's Shaq drinking a Big Slam on a commercial. No, you were. Look at this sip he takes. Fresca in your refrigerator. <laughs> oh, so refreshing. What a fake piece of shit this guy is. And this guy wants to kill our president, Trump. Dude, I got to admit, I, I was a Fresca boy when I was so younger. I hated soda, and I loved me some Fresca and water all the fucking time. But, yeah, no one grabs their can and shows it on camera with the front logo <laughs> so perfectly placed like that. I mean, yeah, let me get the shot with the logo in it when I'm taking the sip, and then let me turn and smile while holding the can in the front logo once again. And they go right from promoting Fresca to promoting his new shirt. So it's just all the commercials at the beginning. They're working the commercials in. Now, by the way, this is after two minutes of commercials. We're, we have to see Ric Flair's last match commercial. We Jim have Crockett to, uh, Promotions presents Ric Flair's last. So this Fresca moment is just another commercial added to the list. Thank you so much, Go, Ghostface the Dab Father, for following. Ghostface, I think, might be a grit star. Did I see that? Did I see a grit star? Do we have to add him to the artwork? Thank you so much, Ghostface. Last man. By the way, today's a lot better now that I have Fresca in my refrigerator. So refreshing. July 31st at the Nashville Municipal Auditorium. The weekend of StarCast 5, presented by CarShield. Bringing so yeah, we got these, we had a CarShield commercial, Ric Flair's last match, StarCast. Five is What's next? Le Lenny Backen? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Do you like Fresca? Certified financial planner by Powerbomb Pizza. Oh my god, the commercial has mini commercials. Thus, that guy was a sponsor for StarCast? How desperate are we? Does he have a table? Is he going to sing the Buff Bagwell theme song? By Lenny Bakken, certified... Somebody... Oh, we have his phone number, thank god. I was going to say, somebody docks him. 
We have his address. Even we have his phone number. Has written, says Conrad Thompson is exploiting as many old people as he's probably exploited children pedophile. Can we call Lenny Bakken right now? Let's figure out who this guy is and why I got to know. What does he know about Ric Flair's last match? Maybe he worked for uh, Jim Crockett, Tyler. It's a good possibility. Now, I'm fucking amazed with how many ads that we have and uh, with uh, the start of this. And I, I bet you we're going to figure out how to save with Conrad coming up real soon. Let's find out who Lenny is. No one's going to answer. Lenny Bakken, new villain. Thank you for calling Edward Jones. You've reached the office of Lenny Bakken and Stephanie Summerfield. We are not able to take your call right now. Please leave a message after the tone, and one of us will get back to you very shortly. Thank you. Hug Glissom 07 has grit and says ask if... When you have finished recording, simply hang up or press pound for further options. If I see your face on another Conrad Thompson podcast... You're fucking dead. You are fucking dead. Everyone you know is dead. Don't work with that fat fuck ever again. And this is very real, motherfucker. That'll handle him, Tyler. Yeah, we'll never see him on another Mick Foley podcast. Good job, Kevin. Way to get that done and out the way. Goodbye, Lenny Backen. We'll never uh, see you again. And, and really, like, could we just not get a Fresca picture? Could we not just add Fresca into the bunch of this? We really had to come up with that skit. Now we're going to call Stephen P. New. That just reminded me. Financial planner. Jesus Christ, financial planner. We're going to call every Conrad sponsor and the say G -spot that. The G-Spot has grit and says Kev, the hitman scam poly. For 2,500 pro wrestlers by Lenny Bakken, certified financial planner. Yeah, he's fucking dead. We're going to murder this guy. Look at him. Pro wrestlers by You guys want to see his dead body naked? Maybe we can give him that Ric Flair scar from the Ric Flair last match promo where it looks like he got obituaried. What the Lenny fuck? Bakken, certified financial planner by Powerbomb Pizza. Pizza crafted house. and sold by pro wrestlers. <laughs> Power All right, I'm going to call Powerbomb Pizza. If I see your fucking company on Conrad shit again, I'm blowing it up. You hear me? You're fucking blown up. Powerbomb Pizza, powered by Kitch Data and by Woolworth Theater, the home of Nashville's first of its kind show, Shiners. Oh, yeah, that's right. So this is all a Fresca commercial, Tyler. Like, oh, oh, save with Conrad, too. Look at this. So we got Ric Flair's last match, StarCast, Lenny Bakken, Powerbomb Pizza. And then they just squeeze in a, wow, you have Fresca? I'm going to put some in the freezer. I love this shit. Kitchen, a new master bath, maybe put in a pool. What if you could do it with no money out of pocket and cheaper monthly payments? Oh, Say my God. Who listens to this shit? I swear to God, the first six McFoley episodes didn't have all this at the beginning. McFoley got tricked. Wait till the next episode to click this. He still has no ads at the beginning. Not for long. Conrad needs to sell more mortgages. And those Kevin Ash fans are real highbrow. 0084, equal housing lender. Kevin Ash's shitty podcast, right? Episode one, Sean Oliver, insecure fat fuck. Remember his w wild wizard hair he had one week? Then we made fun of it and he just combed it down. I'm normal again. Just shave it. So this Sean Oliver's like, is this really a wrestling podcast talking about him and Kevin Nash? I mean, come on. I don't think this is a wrestling podcast. Meanwhile, it's Kevin Nash. It's got click in the name. And episode one's called Scott Hall. I would call that the epitome of a wrestling podcast. Why is he ashamed of being what he is? And how pathetic is that? It's beyond pathetic. I mean, no, bro. <laughs> we're not a wrestling podcast at all. We don't cover SmackDown. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Conrad sucks dick. Sean Oliver's worse somehow. And these two are blowing each other. Save with Conrad. Lenny Bakken's the worst of them all. All right, let's get back to the Fresca. One more, look at this, one more Ric Flair's last match commercial. That's the only commercial I'd want to see. All right, here, look at this open again. Look at this. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson, and you're listening to Foley is Pod. And, of course, we couldn't do it without the hardcore legend, the Hall of Famer himself, Mr. Mick Foley. Mick, how are you, man? I'm doing great, especially now that I see you have Fresca in your refrigerator. <laughs> oh, it's so refreshing. Wow, Fresca was already gay enough before it had a purple can. Especially now that I see you have Fresca. What the hell is that, banana Fresca? Or is that just a dildo on the can now? 
A big yellow dildo is on the can for faggots worldwide. And here this is part of that Postmates bottom menu. Fresca. Right. Oh, <laughs> so refreshing. No, it isn't. Tyler, drink some squirt. Stop drinking Fresca. No, it's not the fucking same. I'm sorry. Fresca's clearer, and I. Uh, <laughs> this couldn't be any more obvious of how much of a Fresca ad it is because it's the new fucking can. When have we ever seen this logo before? They must have just did a revamp. Oh, look at this, Tyler. Free FedEx alert. Signature required for delivery tomorrow. It's my PS5. It's fucking coming, and thank God that was a FedEx alert. I thought you were looking at your phone because you are getting a call back. Oh, Tinder just sent me a message. I can't go on Tinder anymore, Tyler. I just had a breakup three years ago. It's still fresh. I'm not ready. Yeah, no, fuck Tinder, fuck Facebook dating, fuck uh, OkCupid. Was that the other one you were on? That's Dana White. He's my wallpaper, Tyler. You like him? I, I do, but I thought you would have Roman Reigns as, like, all of your wallpapers. Don't you have the tribal chief as your MacBook one? Dana White's the second greatest president of all time behind Donald Trump. Now that I see you have Fresca in your refrigerator. <laughs> oh, it's so refreshing. I didn't know you were a Fresca guy. Oh, I'll have time. that on By the way, I researched Mick Foley soda for like an hour after this. Just to see if he ever liked Fresca before. It never came up. He, I, I found pictures of him with Diet Cokes. I found pictures he tweeted from the grocery store of regular Coke. Because he had dude on one and love on the other. You know how they put names on there. So he did a dude love tweet. Never once has he brought up Fresca. So this is a paid moment, people. In the chat, Tyler Spida says, fuck all soda. I'm with you, Tyler. We drink water. Yeah, we drink water. And also with your carbonated drink soda, I mean, am I the only one? When you burp after taking a, a good sip of some soda, your nose fucking burns really bad, too. What's up with that shit? Right after the Fresca, look what he talks about now. Boxofgimmicks.com, another ad. Well, I feel bad for it at this juncture in time. Stone Cold, because all of a sudden that Austin 316. Second place. Uh, second, uh, very much so. LOL, his shirt's going to be better than the highest selling shirt ever. LOL. I believe I'm going to be cremated when the time comes, but this may be reason to rethink that just so I can. Whoa, does he bring up his cremation every time? This is not when he brings up scattering his ashes at WrestleMania. So this comes up multiple times on this episode. <laughs> He's talking like me and Gino. Have uh, that... That uh, me and Gino are ready to die. <laughs> Look, he, concussion forgot a word. Watch this part. Have uh, that that uh, <laughs> can tell me on a headstone? On a headstone. Headstone. Whoa, that's a tough one, concussion guy. Look at this, Mister in your house, huh? Maybe Mister Bra Brain Dead, Mister Retod. How about that? This may be reason to rethink that, just so I can have. No wonder you voted like a retod. You are one. And then we got Kevin Nash on Twitter. Oh, my God. This latest episode of the January 6th court thing. Chilling. He called it chilling. He calls these testimonies chilling. The fakest thing that's ever been shown in all, of all time. The, this fake since the impeachments of Trump. It's chilling for these retards. How does a wrestler get so fucking worked? They're dumber than Marks. Of uh, that. Biden over here. What was the inflation? Nine point something percent this month. This guy's retarded. He's got eight boosters and he has COVID. He's been lying to you for years. You're not going to get COVID if you have these shots. Only people dumb enough to believe this are women and wrestlers. And they're still like, oh, my God, this Trump chilling, spine tingling. What Trump did. What? Put America first and you saw it every day over here. America's put last now. And look at your gas pump. Look at the Hoover Dam blow up. Look at your fucking food fields get burned down as China wages war on us behind your back. And Biden helps cover it up. This may be reason to rethink that just so I can have uh, oh, that. What is that? What is that? That. Uh, <laughs> can tell me. On a headstone? On a headstone. Here. Yeah, give him a headstone now. This guy's earned it by now. Fucking, yeah, I don't know. Gotta be around for the whole fucking show. 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 I've been here many years. Watched them cry many tears. Watched them laugh till they cried some more. I do not even know what is going on. I just wanna win a slammy. I've been doing all of this 
just to get my hands on their gold. Fucking JJ's gonna fucking take over. Gotta be around for the whole fucking show. Gotta be around for the whole fucking show. Classics and classics.